In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to show you two ways to use the Wave Editor to deal with a problem of wind noise in your recording. Listen to the following clip and you'll see how big a problem we have. I'm recording this video outside on the windy day. The goal is to see if we can do anything to accommodate the wind noise. Okay, we have a huge problem here. Now, the best way to deal with wind noise is to re record the audio because whatever you do in post production uh, will not be perfect. Part of this is because the frequency range of the wind noise is all across the audio spectrum. It's very difficult to isolate it and to knock it down. But we'll look at two ways that we can do that in the wave editor, at least to some degree. First thing you have to do is simply click on the clip and you don't have to split the audio from the video. Then we're going to click on the edit audio button above the timeline, click on the down arrow, and now we'll go into our wave editor program. Once the wave editor is loaded, we see the waveform of uh, this clip. And now we're going to look at two different ways to approach dealing with this. The first one will be a tool inside the Wave Editor called Noise Reduction. If you look on the left under Effects, I can make this larger so we have more room, we have an option under Special called Noise Reduction. If you don't see it, you can uh, right click on the arrow and you'll find Noise Reduction. Another way to get to the same menu is click on Effects at the top, Special, and then choose Noise Reduction. Then you'll have a pop-up screen in the middle of the display, and that will show you several options. You have a 0 to 100 on how aggressive you want to be in dealing with the noise, and then you have the type of noise. When I click on the down arrow, if I hover, it turns blue, and now I have stationary wind or D-click. I'm going to click on wind. And now it's set to zero. So if I check the box for preview, I can hear it. And I'll click the larger round circle to play it. I'm recording this video outside. Okay, so we haven't reduced it at all. That's normal for what the clip is. Let's go to 25% and see if we can detect the difference here. I'm recording this video outside on the windy day. Now when we're up to 25%, you notice we've taken some of the bass out of the voice, and we've also reduced some of the wind uh, interference, but that's one of the problems. The voice sounds more distant, more far away. Let's go to 75% and see what we have here. I'm recording this video outside on the windy day. So now we've had a little more reduction, but it also has changed the pitch quite a bit. It sounds like the voice is even farther away. Almost sounds like I'm listening to an old fashioned radio. Then when we go to 100% using this tool. I'm recording this video outside on the windy day. Now, if I were forced to use this tool, I would probably use it in a moderate level maybe a third or uh, 40 to 50 percent. I'm recording this video outside. That would give me a mix of the positives, which is it reduces it somewhat, but a little less of the negatives, which is changing the bass and, and taking that out of the audio clip so dramatically as it will tend to do. If I wanted to be happy with what I did, I'd simply click the OK button and it would change it. But let me show you a different way of approaching this. And in some cases, it might even be better. I'm going to close that. And now we're going to go to the Equalizer. Now in the Equalizer, what I can do, I click on the Preview button. I have the same operations here. If we play it. I'm recording this video. I'm so Okay, there it is untouched. Now what I'm going to do is play it and I'll begin to lower the value in the lower end of the audio spectrum 
and you can do it while it's playing which is something I like and you can see the difference that each slider will make in the final product. I'm recording this video outside on the windy day. The goal is to see if we can do anything to accommodate the wind noise as it affects the recording. Usually wind noise covers so many different hertz in the sound spectrum that it's difficult to isolate, but we'll see what... Now what I did simply was lower it in the lower levels, and you heard as I moved down or up, it would change the nature of the narration, but also impact the sound. Now this isn't too bad because I'm just screening out some of the lower sounding noise in the wind. If I mess with the upper channels, let's see what happens. I'm recording this video outside on the windy day. Not much difference the there. Goal is to see if we can do anything to accommodate the wind noise as it affects the recording. So you can change this according to your preference as you listen to the clip. And let's assume this is something close to what we want. It doesn't perfectly take care of it, but it does improve it without making the narration sound like it's a mile away over a bad radio frequency. So I'll click on OK. Now we'll change that. And when I'm done, all I need to do is click on the X in the upper right corner of the screen. It will close the wave editor. It says you want to save the changes. I'll say yes. Now it goes back to my regular PowerDirector screen. Now I have a new file over here, which is the modified file. It says uh, windy day and then it has a parenthesis and a zero. If I did several takes of this, it would increment. But this gives me the option of using that audio track and the original video track. Now the original video uh, with its audio is still in this link to this file here. We haven't touched it. But let's see how this sounds compared to what we had before. It's not perfect by a long way, but it is somewhat better. I'm recording this video outside on the windy day. So even though we haven't been able to completely fix the problem because the wind covers all the Hertz spectrum in the audio track, we have been able to knock down some of it, at least to some degree. And that's the best you can do in this kind of post-production situation. But the Wave Editor does offer a couple of approaches, one manual and one automatic, to begin to improve the audio quality of your video.